Hi there, today I'm gonna build an e-bike battery. I wasn't sure if I was gonna record this, but um, I thought I'd record it for a little bit, just kind of show you guys. So I received Tesla Model 3 battery cells, and um, I'm gonna try to build a 36 volt, um, 10, amp, uh, 10 amp hour out of it. Um, currently, uh, my wife bike has a 36 volt, uh, I believe it's 12 amp hour, and it's a little too big. It's a scooter battery that we bought used, but I wanted to, downsize it into a smaller size battery and I found some Tesla uh, Model 3 cells and they're five, 5 amp hour each um, so two in parallel would be 10 amp hour let me show you what I got so these are the Tesla Model 3 cells right here I already started some of it already so I, I bought the cell holder and then um, I bought the uh, little piece here to spot weld them on there this is a cell right here. They're um, 21,700. They're five amp hour. And I have 20 of them because you need 10 to make it uh, 36 volt. 10 in series to make it 36 volt. And then you parallel them. Pretty much like what I have here. You parallel them. And that will double the um, amp hour to uh, 10 amp hour. Yep, and this is the BMS that I'm using. 10S 36 volt. This is the BMS wire for it. And then I'm using the spot water that I have from Amazon here. So let's continue on. I got some of these already parallel spot welded. I just need to finish the rest. So now we're going to do the uh, Siri part. So well, the way it works is it's going to flow like this. It goes up like that, down like that, and up like that. For it to do that, I have to get one to strip here. And then for it to flow like this, so like say it goes here, I have to put the strip here. And then there'll be another one here, another one here. And then at the bottom will be this part, and then this part. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the uh, spot well is done, uh, you can see how I have these going and then for the bottom also. 
So now I'm going to use uh, capped on tape to tape the sides for now. And then um, and then we will we'll put on these uh, balance lead. So I got the Kapton tape now, so let's do the balance lead. Um, so the first one of the balance lead will be the first positive here. And then I'll skip the next one. And then it'll be the third one that goes here because the second one we had to go to bottom. So it'll be first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. And instead of flipping it over every time, I'm just gonna skip every other one. And we'll go ahead and put it like that. Now I'm doing the uh, BMS, so I got the negative cable here that goes into the negative side of the BMS. That's the battery side, and the power side for the negative would be this one, and then the positive here. So we're going to use these two. This is my uh, charging cable. It's going to be wired. It's going to be wired in line with the same um, output cable.
now I got everything wired up I have the positive here for the charging port and also the output port the charging port is right here I have to be a mess plugged in so the next thing to do is to check to make sure we have the right voltage There you go, 36.8 volt. Does that mean everything's wired up correctly? Put a little flux. The cable a little flux in there. Sorry everyone, uh, my phone died. So, but I finished up the battery. Uh, I taped it up and um, pretty much just put it together, taped it up. Let me show you real quick. So here's the replacement battery, it's all taped up. Got it uh, wired up and soldered. I used Kapton tape, just tape it up and then um, I'm probably gonna get the, uh, the heat shrink, the, the big heat shrink and just shrink it up. So this is the current battery. And this is the replacement battery. Big difference. Um, this one gets like 12 amp hour and this one gets about 10. I did the battery capacity test on it and I was getting about nine amp hour on it. So it's pretty close to a 10 amp hour. So for the size, it's, I think it's a big difference. Um, so I think this one's getting like 22 miles from a 12 amp hour this one might get maybe 18 or 19 or so somewhere around there I'll have to find out but uh, that's pretty much it um, using the Tesla Model 3 battery and there's six amp hour each cell so that pretty much I'm, I'm sorry five amp hour on each cell so that will be you know, 10 amp hour in parallel all right that's pretty much it thank you